My name is Mark Myers. I'm the author of the new book, Why Jazz Happened. Throughout the 1920s, 30s, 40s, into the early 1950s, black musicians and black bands that had toured the South, the Southwest, and even parts of the North experienced enormous racial hostility. And throughout this period, it was very, very difficult for these musicians to find food, to use restrooms, to um, find places to stay at night. Very, very treacherous and, and difficult to do. So that by 1954, when the Supreme Court makes its decision on Brown versus Board of Education, there's enormous hope initially uh, among black and white uh, musicians that things are going to change. Um, that there is going to be this overnight uh, transition to greater equality. Uh, but in effect, what happens is, is that states and local municipalities down south, they, for the most part, ignore uh, Brown versus Board of Education. And, or if they do need to comply, it's much of what they had been doing is done anyway, uh, but it's done surreptitiously. What you see, though, is that these musicians um, begin to um, feel as though much of what they had almost achieved has been taken away from them. There's, uh, this, this sense that uh, a great injustice had been done or that justice wasn't being done down south. And you see the rise of numerous albums during this period um, of musicians recording uh, much more spiritual music. Don't, I don't mean this in terms of gospel, but you see a greater personal yearning or a personal complaint or a personal angst um, that things haven't changed and there's a greater emphasis on um, ancestral homelands in Africa, the Caribbean, the Far East. More albums are recorded uh, that uh, celebrate Africa, so it almost becomes code. Um, it's almost a protest movement prior to the full-blown protest movement that comes later. Uh, but musicians are, are making a statement, but they're doing it in a musical language um, by uh, paying tribute. Um, to places like Africa and, and the Caribbean and the Far East where they feel um, there is a greater toleration for equality, greater toleration for the arts, and greater to toleration and um, respect for history and for um, ethnicity. For more information about my book, Why Jazz Happened, go to whyjazzhappened.com.